Many of you won't agree with me on this commentary and that's okay. I welcome all your thoughts in the comment section below. Jamaica sets the bar really high. Some say we feel as if we should win everything. I don't think there's anything wrong with being ambitious. When you see and identify great potential, it's only natural for criticism to be given. It doesn't mean the athletes aren't loved and appreciated. With that said, let me start off by saying that Jamaica was not hungry enough for the gold medal, much less the 4 by 100 meter world record. This was their race to lose and they did just that. It is apparent they did not learn from the mistakes of last year's race at the Tokyo Olympics where they had a poor first exchange with Elaine thompson Hiram moving off too soon. Sharika on the anchor leg tried to close the gap but was unable to gain enough ground on Twanisha Terry who sailed to victory for the US. If the race was longer, there's no doubt in my mind that Sharika would have passed her. I mean, she is in fact one of the fastest women in the world this year. But that is besides the point. So the Americans took the gold in 41.14 seconds, Jamaica was second in 41.18 seconds, and Germany was third in 42.03 seconds. Shelley and Fraser Price even confessed in an interview that they don't get much practice and she'd love to see a relay camp in Jamaica. And I wholeheartedly agree. I think it's one of the things that affects us as a country in terms of our relay practice because we don't have relay camps, we don't do relay camps. I'm hoping one day our federation will decide to do it and we'll try and make it happen but we don't. And it was very difficult to do here since all three ladies were doing the double as well. So it was difficult. So we relied on our experience and the fact that we ran the team from, from the second to the anchor, the exact way we ran it last year. Again, I continue to say this. You can have the fastest woman on paper, but if that button isn't moving as quickly and safely, it spells trouble. The button exchange from Shelly to Sharika was the best out of all the exchanges. I even saw them practicing minutes before the relay at the warm-up track and thought somehow they could get it together, but they did not. The baton exchanges in the heats were better executed and I honestly believe that Jamaica's A team would have taken notes, but they did not. I believe poor team chemistry is also to be blamed. The ladies don't seem to be on one page. It looks like a partnership between Sharika and Shelly and everybody else just showed up. Take a look at the American ladies with Jefferson, Steiner, Prandini and Terry. They looked united and ready. They were also practicing long before the release. Even the Germans who were in third place looked like they were on the same page. The Jamaican team looked shocked and disappointed after the race and so were we. We can't have three of the fastest women in history and still be unable to take down the world record once and for all. Jamaica won't always have this opportunity and they are wasting time. I understand that everybody is more focused on their individual events, but the 4 by 100 meter world record is the easiest to get if they really work together as a team. Will it take successive mistakes for the Jamaicans to correct the course? Will we have to wait until Budapest 2023 for them to get it together? Are we suffering from the same curse as the USA men's relay team for the last few years prior to 2022? I know some persons may say that my comments are too harsh, but when you fail a test or underperform, questions must be asked. Some introspection must be done for improvements to be made. We must call attention to these errors and hold someone accountable. Change does not come with a pat on the back. They say that failure is a great teacher. I can only hope everyone involved smell the coffee and start taking notes. Nonetheless, we give thanks that we got the silver medal and I look forward to great things from Team Jamaica. Let me know in the comment section what you thought about the relay. Bless.